Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to The Cataclysm and, of course, to the story of Brutus Salazar as we make our way reasonably through the Cataclysm. As it happens, we're doing fairly well for ourselves, I think. Right, okay, we've got a bat down there. We've also got a possum, actually not that much further away than the bat, frankly, so we're not going to worry about that one too much. Right, in today's episode, well, we actually did quite a lot of things already. What am I wearing at the moment? Have I got the pair of welding goggles? Good, good, good. Right, I want to drop that off in amongst my tools. There we go. We'll also drop off the toolbox that makes it... Well, no, they stay with. They stay with at all times. Uh, but we'll definitely drop off the uh, welding goggles as well as the rubber hose. Honestly, that can go in tools as well. The lighter? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, no, the lighter will come with us. This is going to be what we take out with us when we're uh, in such a... If we're out and about, I would rather the, the lighter than the campfire drill. In the base, the campfire drill can be uh, the main thing that we use. Alright, what else have we got? We'll drop off the toolbox and the makeshift crowbar. Don't need those with us right now. What I wouldn't mind doing, though, uh, wow, well, I am quite tempted to take apart this, uh, this generator here. Now, the thing with the generators is, for all intents and purposes, the 7.5 kilowatt generator is just a large alternator. Now, if someone actually keyed me into this in the comment on the last video, um, there are not simply three alternators. There's the motorbike alternator, the car alternator, the truck alternator, and then ultimately this one. Now, in terms of their overall power, the way alternators work is they put a little bit of power drain on the engine, which you can imagine as a negative power output. So the engine has to um, kick up a notch to cover the, the deficit that the alternator is creating. Uh, so your engine's gonna work a tiny, tiny bit harder, but will generate a lot of power. Now, generally speaking, everything is better than solar, which stands to reason because solar is effectively free. Um, but to give you a, a rough idea, a truck alternator will generate as much energy per tick as 20 solar panels, basic solar panels, in bright sunshine. That is an awful lot of power, and the, and the generator is many times more capable than the truck alternator. Uh, but it also has uh, an equivalent massive energy drain on the engine. Now, we could install this on our little uh, foot crank setup, and that would be funny, but we would get very hungry. <laughs> Very hungry, uh, but I am somewhat tempted. I think we are actually going to uh, take this apart. But, well, that being said, uh, huh. you see, we could keep it. We could even go ahead and get the second generator, and then we could have a, a really powerful generator. Maybe. You know what? Maybe. Uh, it's one of the zombie. Yes, we, we knew the zombie was there. Uh, could you please uh, let me move around? All right, what have we got down here? In fact, where are my weapons? Am I carrying them all? Uh, I've got the duffel bag, sure. Uh, I do not, however, have my crossbow, or my bow, rather, my uh, longbow. Where have I popped that down? That's terrifying. Ah, there we are. Oh, right, of course. It's been a while, okay? It's been quite a while. And yes, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was sick for part of it, and I just kind of ducked my head down. Thankfully, I had a decent amount of, of backlog, because I've actually been sick for a lot longer than the, the I think, two days we were without um, footage for Cataclysm. And then I uh, went to the other side of Scotland to, to meet a friend uh, just before she went home. Uh, she lives quite far away, in a different country, in fact, hence the priority. But, yeah, it took, it took a bit of a toll, and so we eventually ran out of my... Uh, my, my backlog of footage. But we're back now and things should be okay. I uh, got a dog over there, that's fine. Where are you, crawling zombie? I, I know you're here. There we are. You're over here somewhere. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, to those who've been asking how can I zoom in and out, uh, you use the Z key by default. Z zooms in, Shift Z zooms back out again. All right, we'll just take nice long shots there. There we go. And dealt with. 
Ooh, a pair of sneakers. Well, no, no, that is particularly useful to me. And unfortunately, all of the the arrows were were wasted. Much sadness there. That blob is a big pain. Uh, no, I think we're going to wait five minutes. Get my uh, stamina back. We're going to go and try and deal with this blob. It is dangerous, though. It is actually super dangerous, so don't mess around with these things. And don't let them get too close to other things, because they have a funny effect of, like, making everything into blobs. All right, shoot that. Okay, not a bad hit. Now, blobs are staggeringly resistant to most forms of damage. It is actually quite, quite upsetting. So, we're going to do very little damage for a long while. But, this is one of the better weapons that we've got for doing the damage, so... There we go, finally. Now, it's split in two. This is why blobs are, uh, are worrisome. Now, if you have a look at these, the small blobs. A small black blob of viscous goo oozing across the ground, like a glob of living oil. And then we've got uh, two actual blobs over there, and then a big blob. A large black blob of viscous goo oozing across the ground, like a glob of living oil. But this one will easily kill your face off if you give it a chance. All right, we want to move away from those little ones. Now, they, the small ones are not necessarily that, that dangerous, but it's the fact that they can become dangerous. Uh, it splits in two. Uh, let's block this apart. There we go. Now then, got loads of blobs over there, and they will keep multiplying if we give them a chance to. And uh, now let's grab my arrows, and I'm going to pick up the blob globs. A little hunk of glo uh, glob that fell off a blob monster. It doesn't seem hostile, but it does wiggle occasionally. You can use it to make a goo canister, super glue, and resinous cord. Go ahead and pick these up. There is no reason not to. As far as I'm away, uh, aware, you can't end up with them growing into full blobs. The other thing, the small ones, though, they can. So be proactive in eliminating them. Otherwise, you're going to create a big problem for yourself later on. It's like any game where the uh, enemy can uh, split. If you don't take care of the of the additional spawns you will very quickly just exacerbate any problem that you had before um, it'll grow much faster than you can keep up with eventually so uh, do bear that in mind may as well just loot these while we're out here uh, over here as well forest of the underbrush yes no don't want it my lord i should uh, actually you know what clean this place up there we are. I'm going to stick them in the fire. And they can just be gone. There we are. And drop this off here. Now the blob globs. We'll pop them down over here. We'll eventually use those for various things. Uh, there we go. The reptile egg, however, we will use for other things. Get those. Uh, where are you, reptile egg? Mm, I'm not, not in, at all hungry. Actually... Grab all these. Well, in fact, there's nothing here that I actually care for, so we will be breaking that down completely. Now, I believe that we are dropping off the cash cards over there for now. All right. Decent so far. I'm going to need to make a lot more items, though. Got ammonia, got gasoline there. We're going to want a decent amount of gasoline, especially if we start moving to an uh, basically an economy of our, our private generators in here. Realistically speaking, there's going to be enough gasoline in the world that you could just run your base off the generators without any issue whatsoever. They do make noise, though, and that causes trouble because it is a car engine at the end of the day. So, you know, bear that in mind. You also might want a bigger engine if you're going to run a lot of generators off it um, because these things do actually all, all matter. The, the, as I mentioned, the, the simulation of the, um, of the actual car side of Kata is fantastically complex and in-depth. So bear in mind that having a lot of, of alternators running off a small engine is nowhere near efficient. Uh, likewise, even the, the kinds of the wheel width of your vehicles does matter. I've not really cared about it too much so far, but once it becomes something that I can easily address, we'll actually go over the sorts of do's and don'ts of building a car. Understand right now, if you're just throwing things together as soon as you find them, which is what I've been doing, you've probably got a really fuel inefficient car and or generator. But it's fine for now. Uh, got a couple of jerry cans there, that's fine. What have we got in here? No, don't take that down. 
Got some water there. Oh, we go over there. Got a little bit of that isn't too bad. What I wouldn't mind doing is first cleaning up the world. You know, I want Captain Planet to be happy with me. Secondly, I would like to check on the electric bicycle. I could improve the... Well, I actually could perhaps fix the motorbike alternator, which would be decent. I also need to fix the frame quite a lot, actually. Uh, we've got a small electric motor and a medium storage battery. Mm. It's not terrible. We'll probably build it up quite quite nicely as we go with that. Uh, for now, it's good. Uh, down here, are all of the solar panels in good repair? Yes, they are good. Fantastic. Repairing the security system. Not necessarily a big, big thing. Honestly, I don't think we need the security system, but, you know... There are NPCs, and yes, they will absolutely try to nick your car, if you let them. So don't let them, is my advice. It'll repair the security system if you get a chance. Uh, but it's not a very high priority for us right now. Uh, let's have a quick glance. What kind of state is my Wii thing over here? It's got just a car alternator and a motorbike alternator. Doesn't actually have a battery in it, which is a little bit bad. Hmm. We could fix that, I guess. Do we have a car battery? Yes, we do. We do indeed. Now, a couple of people pointed out, oh, you've got extra solar panels. We don't. We have solar cells. You can use those to make solar panels, and I think you can use them to repair damaged solar panels as well. But you can't, unfortunately, use them to make solar panels. Uh, sorry, uh, to, to as solar panels. You can't just uh, fit a solar cell onto a car and expect it to work. Alas, would be grand, but no. Uh, Alright, well, I would like to pick that up and maybe even to repair it. Uh, so let's stand over here. Um, I'm going to need my welder. Where are you? Makeshift welder, no. Where is my actual welder? Hmm. Let's have a look for that in here. So, filter. I would like welder and around. Uh, oops, that was the wrong thing. Reset that one. It is a little bit troublesome, the, the way the, the filter sometimes works. I'll often forget where um, where my uh, gear is pointing to. I, don't tell me I'm holding it. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely... Is it? Oh! Is it in our car? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, well, that's uh, decently charged. That would explain why the car hasn't got much of a charge right now. But, alright, let's go ahead and repair our car battery. Um, repair until fully repaired. There we go. Marvellous. We've now got, a, well, actually, a slightly improved car battery, as it happens. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this won't really gain any, any benefit from that. I'll need my toolbox as well. So let's grab that. There we go. And we'll go ahead and install this here. I've got a car alternator there that we could repair. Um, sure, go ahead. There we are. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's install the car battery whilst we're here then. So, bump. So now we've got a car battery, motorbike alternator, uh, car alternator, affordable seat, foot pedals. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a foldable wooden frame. I'm not actually sure we can fold this. Fairly certain we can't, no. But it is now legitimately a generator. We could even take apart the generator we have over here. Well, it's tempting, actually. We could even set this whole thing up down, down here and just build it out. Uh, hmm. That's very tempting, actually. We'd have one part that is the... Uh, well, I'd rather not have... a. a, a a generator that's going to be producing fumes inside my house for all intents and purposes. So we're going to nix that option for now. But it's, it's something that we can look into in the future. Let's just go ahead and cut up all of this and then uh, move that across. You don't want anything. Oh, actually, I just want to see what's underneath me. There we go. Let's move all of you. Um, there we are. Perfect. All right, then. I'm a little bit hungry. So let's go ahead and eat the juice pulp. Then some of the meat pie. Om, nom, and indeed nom. Marvellous. Getting a little bit tired now, though, so we're going to want to uh, have 
I will work on that. But while we're here, let's go ahead and see what we can do about repairing all of this. Let's start with the out. Well, I don't strictly need to start with it, but uh, I need to also install a headlight there, thinking about it. Let me go and grab the uh, spare headlights that we've got. Where are you? I know we've got one. Uh, we've got a couple. We'll grab this one since it's the least damaged of the lot. Am I wearing my my goggles? A pair of Weldon goggles anyway? Uh, nope. It doesn't look like I grabbed them. I'll grab this one just in case, but we might not actually need that for what we're working on. But we've got a headlight over here. Let's go ahead and install the other headlight we've got right there. Uh, choose a direction for this to face. That direction. Uh, Press space to continue. That one would do. There we are. Okay. And while we're here then, let's go ahead and try and repair the headlights. Uh, someone actually mentioned that I might be able to repair items that re normally require duct tape if I just have the item in my inventory and use my welder. If that's the case, we'll take those headlights. Oh, we can. And, uh, yeah, sure, just keep going until we, till we, does not have enough charge. Ah, okay, well, we're swapping power for that. That's not so bad, though, all things considered. Uh, all right. We'll drop the welder in here, then. There we go. Uh, don't worry, the, the dog is fine. I'll actually take the headlights back out, then, and we'll repair them in the base. There we go. There we are. That's going to be significantly less costly, though it, the, I was warned that with that method of repair, you will unfortunately result in using significantly more um, common components for the repairs, uh, so metal scraps, that sort of thing, than if you simply uh, use the duct tape, but I think we're fine with that. Uh, right, dead tired. Time for snoozings, I think. Let's go ahead and drop off our umbrella, our longbow, the quiver, the duffel bag, all of that heavy stuff. Uh, alarm clock is there on the tile with me. Good. Shall we have a little bit of a read before we get to sleep? Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should. Is there anything I really want to, to have a read of? Um, yeah, let's continue... Reading Modern Trapper, then, for a little bit. Read until we gain a level. It'll take us a little while. There we go. We've increased to level one. Now we'll drop it. And it is definitely time for some snoozings for Bruiser Salazar. Let's uh, go ahead, say before sleeping, and snooze. I believe we can set an alarm if we've got an alarm clock nearby, but we are lightning. I'm actually wondering if that would have any effect on Brutus Salazar, or whether Brutus Salazar, given that he's a heavy sleeper, would just completely sleep through it. And the alarm would just be going off, attracting zombies for hours. And what would really wake him up is when he's being dragged out of bed by a hungry feral zombie and his feet are being chewed on. Maybe, on second thought, the alarm is not the best idea in the world, actually. All right, let's uh, go ahead. Oh no, the meat pie's all rotten already. Ugh, so frustrating. I must confess. Very unhappy that we didn't uh, decide to eat before sleep. Ah, well, dear me. Uh, do we have anything around here that we could drink? Well, milk balls? No, that's not drinking, though, is it? Uh, have we not got any? Hmm, interesting. Is my water skin? Yeah, it's, it's empty. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, we can drink from over here. We'll just drink the clean water straight out of the tank. There we are. That'll get us nice and quenched. Also, actually, don't pick that up. Let's uh, unload, there we go, this into small water skin. Perfect. And that's fine. Don't need to take any more than that. There we are. Excellent. Right. Well, a little bit of a, of a shame there. Well, uh, I say little bit. It's actually quite a lot of a shame, actually. Uh, oh, I need to wield my duffel bag. 
Uh, also, wearing it would probably be a little bit better. Uh, let's grab the quiver with a longbow as well. Grab the umbrella. There we go. Alright, uh, let's get this meat pie out of the house so it doesn't stink the place up. Oh! Shriek a zombie. Well, that isn't actually too bad. Oh. oh. That is actually a little bit bad. Let me wear my sunglasses. There we are. Now the glare isn't going to affect me. And we'll just wait for you to get a little closer. There we go. Uh, wield. Longbow. Took me a few turns to pull that up. There we are. And down. Nice and easy. There we go. Got you. you. And caffeinated chewing gum. Never a bad thing. But we are definitely starting to uh, run out of components now. It's a little bit of a problem. Uh, sorry, out of, out of arrows. There. Well, components for firing my bow. Otherwise known as arrows. There we are. We'll actually keep this caffeinated chewing gum on us. As it happens. Right. Time for us to get down to the serious uh, business of making some more ammunition for this bow. We've got 17 arrows, so that means we can fit an extra 40 in there. Very well. We should easily have enough for that. Uh, let's see. Now. It's the wooden arrows. Damage 10, armor piercing of 3. Or the sharpened metal arrows. Obviously, we want the wooden arrows. Uh, let's see, is there actually much difference between them? This metal shaft has been carefully sharpened so that it has a crude point at the end. It stands a very good chance of remaining intact once fired. Uh, dispersion is actually fairly high. No, the wooden arrow is, is by far the best. So let's go ahead and make a significant amount of these. Oh. Well, it'll make decent amounts. So well, we're starting to run a little bit low, though. Plant fiber we've got a decent amount of, 2x4s nearby, and feathers, sure, we'll use plant fiber, um, scrap metal, and feathers on that. There we are. Right, and we will now activate this, and store all the wooden arrows in there. There we go. None too bad. None too bad. Still a bit hungry. Uh, Alright, let's... Mm, how much... Was it that we needed for? I think we needed fabrication of five or six to make the wood stove. Let's have a look. The wood stove. Five. We could make a few more things. That would be pretty good, actually. We can make a couple of blockers. It's not like we don't always need more. Right, so what we got currently? We've got a, a locker for our, the clothing that we want. We've got a locker for currently all of our tools. A locker for all of our firearms. Well, our weapons in general, actually. A locker for our things we should take out with us when we're going out. A locker for our actual weapons. Okay. Hmm. We could have... A locker for... Spare clothing? Oh, sure, that, that doesn't seem too bad of an idea. Currently, we've just got one for clothing that I'd actually want, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a new locker for items that are um, fully upgraded, like the armor that I've, I, I consider my main clothing, but for some reason I'm not wearing it right now. For example, heat. We're going into summer. A lot of the stuff that I would want to keep for winter and for when it rolls back around, I'll be putting in here. That seems reasonable. Also, many of these sorts of items are things that I will have upgraded significantly. I will have spent time improving them. So that means this one can now be for just general odds and sods, which is fine. Uh, next, we've got a decent amount of stuff around here. Where's that put our fabrication now? 69%. What other sorts of things could we find? Let's have a look for... Um, S, skills. So... Fabrication. 
We want difficulty of six. Uh, so difficulty of five. Or more. It looks like we don't actually have many. We don't have any, in fact. That's worrisome. Uh, Alright. A mini spear gun. He uses handguns. Oh, okay. Banded wooden cartwheel, a hobo stove, a small improvised wood stove made from using a metal can or similar container. Useful for cooking, uses simple tinder. Hmm. I guess we could make that rather than using the brazier. The brazier is really more for light than anything else. If we if we only wanted it for cooking, then the hobo stove wouldn't be a bad option. Simply because it would allow us to just use, as it says, simple tinder for that. Uh, but let's have a let's keep looking through. And uh, starting to drop down in difficulty. This one's actually using survival more than fabrication, though. Uh, we need something that is fabrication specific for it to raise our our abilities. Uh, the banded wooden cartwheel. Maybe we could do a couple of these. Let's have a quick look at how that would affect our our skill. Because if we can get by with just making a couple of these, then sure, I'm all right with it. So once again. Fab, and then the banded wooden cartwheel. Let's make just one of these. Okay. Now, where is that put it? 73. That is none too bad, actually. All right, let's make a couple more of these then. Now, this is probably the most gamey that you will be in Cataclysm, is when you're just shy of a certain skill, and so you batch craft random things in order to get that skill that you need. I tend to stray away from it. I'm not super fond of doing this as a whole. Um, we can, in fact, cut those up, perhaps. Yep. And get... Oh, we only got splintered woods back from it. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, maybe butcher those wooden frames as well. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go through them. There we go. And the folded wooden frame, 50 splintered woods. Might as well. That would be useful for a hobo stove. Um, okay, so... Let's actually see. Now, it only requires one in fabrication. I cannot imagine that this will in any way affect our fabrication skill, which is presently at 77%. Uh, but just in case... Maybe the secondary one does get get it, but we'll see. Uh, I'll use um, an opened tin can. I'm sure, that's fine. There we are. And yeah, it didn't didn't really budge. That's fine. Not an issue. Uh, can I make some tinder? There we are. Uh, we could use. Can we not? Oh, there there we are. Splintered woods. That's what we needed. Good. good. Uh, how much does this produce? Does it produce? Uh, yeah, it produces an awful lot, actually. We could easily make uh, 500. That's that's a lot, yes. Splintered woods. It'll take us 10 minutes to do this. There we are. Okay, reload. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I, because I'm wielding something that can be reloaded. Uh, can I have anything in there? No. Okay, so just wear my longbow, then reload hobo stuff. There we are. And uh, we can pop that on the table, actually. Let's go ahead. We'll just drop it here for now. Tinder and the hobo stove. You can go over there. And it's a reasonable little, little setup, actually. Um, but it would use a full whack of Tinder for that. Uh, right, so, it looks like we are back to trying to convince myself of reasons why I want to build more lockers. I suppose ultimately I could just break the lockers down. It isn't actually that much of an issue. Uh, let's have a look over here. Is there anything particular? Anything in particular that I could make right now that has a high enough fabrication requirement? Doesn't seem it. Okay, uh, the sofas were the only things that I could do. I've got the, I've used up all of my 2x4s, unfortunately, but uh, well, they, that's the way it's going to go when trying to rise your skills like that. Uh, grab this one. 
I know, we're taking away our extremely needed 2x4 from over there. Uh, ooh, we need the axe then. Let's head outside and we'll, we'll do a little bit of um, lumbering. So where is my axe? Let's have a look. Screw size set, new. Second toolbox, new. Uh, so many cash cards. That's, that's good. It's very, very useful. Where's the oxygen pack? Nope. No. Makeshift axe. Well, you know what? I think we actually had a decent axe somewhere, so let's see. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. There we go. We'll take that. Then remember to reset the setup there. Okay. Oh, my meat pies. Makes me sad. Alright, let's equip the umbrella. And I would like to get... Uh, not the bottle jack, but the jumper cables. The folded swagon! There we go. We'll also close that. Uh, right. Okay. Let's apply the folded swagon. And grab the folded swagon. And we're going to go and get ourselves some wood. That'll do. I would like to chop a... Chop down a tree. There we go. Uh, I would like to fall in that direction. Did I? Oh, I crushed a bunch of things. Okay. Uh, now, we want to chop the trunks into logs. Okay, I'm pretty hungry at this point, unfortunately. This one as well. And this is why I'm wielding the umbrella right now. Always wield your umbrella if you need to. Uh, if you're going to be doing anything that's going to take a long time to do. There we are. We should not actually be able to storm any of these in here. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, well, that being said, actually, we can store... Yeah, it's not bad. We'll be back for the rest in a moment. Uh, you know what? We can just go in this side. Sure. Let's bring this in. And then move all of this out. Perfect. Then we'll head back out, grab the next. Now that we've got the, the folded swagon with us, we're good in terms of being able to just head out and grab all the wood that we need and prepare our little farm area. That's one of the next things that we're going to be working on, but I am very thirsty, so let's not chop down another tree. Let's instead just unload the folded wagon. There we go, or at least those two. This one can come into my inventory. Uh, folded wagon. I'm going to leave you just up here. There we are. I need to go and eat something. Uh, we should be able to make something, I'm sure. Let's just drop off the uh, weathered plants first. And what's going on down here? Probably not too much, so let's remove that cover just in case. Uh, first and foremost, I'd rather drink out of the, the actual tank for now and keep our water skin. Uh, available for later. Now then. Campfire drill. Let's grab you. Now the question is, will I be able to see enough to use the hobo stove? Let's see. Uh, activate the hobo stove. They're uh, just heating up food right now, so not cooking with. I could use the terminal to be able to see by, honestly. Uh, but we'll, we're fine without. Let's just grab maybe five splintered woods. Drop those down. And over here we've got enough. Let's grab the campfire drill. That should be around here somewhere. Uh, doesn't seem so. Where are you, campfire drill? No, hmm. I am a little concerned. I will confess, unless I picked it up. Oh yeah, I've got her on me. Classic Avac there. There we go. Right, well let's go ahead. Uh, the hobo stove then, it, it's just going to be useful for heating our meals in the future. But that's still pretty good. We can make some broth. Uh, bone broth, boiled eggs, coffee, clean water, boiled noodles. That's not too bad, and it actually gives us both quench and nutrition, but we don't strictly want quench right now. Let's go ahead and just boil an egg, shall we? I think so. 
There we go. And we'll just use the water nearby. And gobble that down straight away. There we go. Alright, next up. I guess it's going to have to be the boiled noodles. I mean, broth we can't do. So, sure, okay, boiled noodles it'll be then. We'll use water for that, though. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do a little bit more work before we can actually benefit from that because we're slaked, so we, we're not going to be able to uh, consume the noodles right now. So, I would like to chop, uh, cut a log into planks. There we go. We'll start work on that. Uh, oh, I don't have that item. Well, I mean, it, it's right there, though. But, uh, fine. Uh, I can't pick that up, many up, no. Um, is there an easier way for me to do this, I wonder? Hmm. Apply my... I'm going to grab my toolbox. And see if I can't use that a little bit better. Uh, chop down a tree. Cut it into planks. Cut to metal. Pull out nails, remove no, saw down a barrel. Well, let's just drop the uh, axe over here for a second. And then try again. Yep, there we go. And I'm thinking the toolbox is going to be better. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that the toolbox, because it's got a saw, is better than the axe for cutting planks. I wish I could just do all of this. I wonder if I can repeat. No, I can't. Uh, I was just using the uh, repeat craft button, but alas. That's fine, though. We're getting enough planks here. Realistically, oh, we wasted a lot of wood this time. Yes, we did. We wasted three planks worth of wood, in fact. But realistically, we are not going to ever run out of of 2x4s because of this. We, we've got all the 2x4s we'll ever need. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. Am I carrying those planks? Oh, yes, yeah, so I am. Not quite what I meant to do, but all right. And drop that. Now, what we could do is return banded to making banded wooden cuts. Uh, it does use a lot of nails, though. Hmm. And it isn't giving us that much. You know what? Let's go ahead and just make the locker. Uh, oh, we can make a sofa now, though. Or, well, we've already got one bed. We could make a sofa. Sure. Maybe we could even have uh, this table in front of the... Uh, no, that that feels a, a little bit... Nah. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that idea. All right, let's make a sofa then. So, sofa down there. Donk. And now a new sofa right here. Donk. There we are now. What are we like on fabrication? So close! So incredibly close. Frustratingly so. Hmm. Alright then, Brazier. Let's tear it down. I would like both of these. We're going to move them around. Apply the Brazier to this tile there. We'll drop off the wood ash. Grab a reasonable amount of wood splinters. There they are. Oop, no, that was capital S instead of capital D. Uh, let's light that up. And we should, I'm hopeful, be able to make a three-seat sofa. And fabrication is now five. All of the great things just opened up for us. Glorious. Now then. We can make an actual wood-burning stove at this point. Or, you know, we'll, we'll be able to. Um, we can make metal bars. Hmm. Make shift welder. Six pipes, two sheet metals, and we can make uh, a, an actual set of metal bars. So, sort of like jail cell sort of metal bars is uh, what I'm thinking of there. Uh, chair bench, cupboard, a metal rack. None of these are particularly interesting. Now, what is interesting is the wood stove. And for that, I need one large metal tank. All right. Well, I'm going to take the wood ash, drop that off. I'm very hungry now, and I should be able to eat my boiled noodles. There we go. Both of them. Gobble them down. Uh, can I make any more bone? Bo no, I can't, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, hmm. Where could I pop that? I can't see it well enough anymore. 
new. Let's uh, pass a few. Well, actually, since we're going to just be passing time, take control, accelerate, and I'll just 16 is fine. And then we'll pass five minutes. There we are. It's fine. It's not meant to have any wheels. I would be very concerned if it did. Have a look at you. 6% on the car battery already. Brilliant. Alright, the reason why I wanted to wait is because there was still smoke there. And uh, I'm quite quite concerned about accidentally starting a, uh, a fire. It would be super, super bad. Alright, let's grab another five of you. There we go. We are going to try... If we can wrap this episode up with a wood-burning stove, then we have just massively upgraded Bruce to Salazar's living. Uh, th this is like The Sims, when, when you go from the lowest possible level of cooker that's constantly at risk of catching fire to a state-of-the-art, cleans-itself cooker that is literally incapable of burning or starting a fire. Though then you, you can't chat at the fireman, which is a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue, depending on the way you play. Uh, so, you know, maybe just move the fire, the, 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 the never explodey um, over to the other side of the kitchen and keep your old, old you know, for, for nostalgia's sake. And keep it under the fire alarm, though, because you don't actually want it to burn down, unless you're one of those Sims players, in which case, you know, just make sure there are no exits from the room, I guess. Uh, right, we want to make a metal tank, so... Tank, 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 tank. We need our wells to be charged up. Of course we do. Right down there. Right. And we drop our... Ooh, we haven't even got the welder on us. Well, that would be a bit of a problem, yes. Um, really? Push your bags. Hmm. Let's drop off the things we don't need. Hobo stuff can go in there. The fire drill can go in there. And makeshift X. Uh, I, I actually may make another locker specifically for the things that... Uh, the sorts of tools. Well, yeah, you know what? Sure. Okay, we'll do that. So pants can go in there, and then... Makeshift crowbar, lighter, and trench coat. Those are things that I want at all times. The toolbox should go in there. But the makeshift axe and the hobo stove and the campfire drill... These are going to be for the tools that I do use regularly. In fact, maybe I'll change that from a locker to a to a rack, a metal rack. But uh, for the time being, is the welder over here, I wonder? Yes, there we are. Perfect. All right, let's make this tank then. Yoink. It's fine. Now, where do I want the stove? I'm thinking the stove should be in between the uh, kitchen there. I, I think that would be a nice spot. Although I could have it there as well. And there's something kind of nice about just being sat there. I could have a little table there and I could just tuck in by the table while my, my wood stove is right next to me. And my little table with my, my tea kettle. Ah, it's going to be grand, I tell you. Grand wood stove. There we are. Fantastic. Alright, let's have a quick Gander you. This is a wood stove. It is empty. Well, that won't be a problem for very long, I promise you. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Brutus, this has been a bit of a base-heavy episode once again, but I think we've actually done reasonably well for ourselves. We've topped up our arrows again. I, I don't need the welding goggles anymore, it's, uh, but we are going to drop the welding goggles and, in fact, the welder. Oh, not the welder, actually. Uh, we'll drop the welding goggles down here. Drop the toolbox over there. And we are going to head out and get the, hopefully, 18% on the battery. Good. Uh, get items. Uh, it appears that the, the welder hasn't charged. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Pop that in there, then. I need to uh, actually turn that on. Let's control this vehicle and turn on the recharger. That shouldn't take very long at all. So this makeshift welder actually does go over here. I completely missed that that was the makeshift welder. How derpy of me. I wasted a lot of uh, valuable resources there. But we'll allow the, the makeshift welder to continue to charge up. I'm going to need my axe because I don't want to leave Brutus in a situation where he hasn't got the best possible setup for the next day. I intend to record a couple of episodes. 
the day. And I always find it so much better. I, I There's this place where as a YouTuber, well, or rather as a YouTuber who, who actually derives most of his enjoyment out of interacting with the community, recording several episodes in a batch, it's a good way of being able to just keep on top of your workload. It's, it's fantastic. Because how often do you just play a game for like 30 minutes and then stop and then go and play another game? It, it's odd, but you get so much less done in the day if you're trying to record games. Um, and in fact, you, you get less enjoyment out of it by not playing it in a, a big, big you know, wallop. Or at least that's the way I consume games. It would be like going to the movies to watch Deadpool 2 and then stopping after 30 minutes and then coming back the next day to watch the next 30 minutes. It just wouldn't, wouldn't quite feel right. Um, but it does mean that as a result, it can take sometimes like three episodes for your comments to actually reach me. Understand that I do still read the comments on every episode and it does get filed away. Um, and sometimes if someone said, no, this is absolutely not going to work. You're going to be awful. You're going to totally fail the game. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I already know that I won. <laughs> There's that, that moment of, of, of kind of childish glee. Look, I, I'm, I never said that I, I was a good person. There are, there are times when, when, when I can enjoy the, those, those rare moments where I can just kind of internally gloat. It, it's enough that I don't gloat externally, I think. But, you know, that aside, I, I do, uh, do often have to kind of uh, struggle with myself a little bit because I desperately want to, to, to be able to play kind of in real time. It's why streaming is so fun, as it happens. It's one of the big reasons why it's so fun. There we go. Let's continue to chop this down. Every zombie in a million miles is going to be uh, making their way to us right now. So let's just be sure that when they get here, there's nothing for them to see. And that would be wise. Uh, yeah, we've got a decent amount, actually. So all of those, one of these. Ah. Hold it, Swaggin. You are amazing. Truly. All right, let's... Uh, uh, actually... If I want to be able to move them down onto the ground, it's going to be a little bit easier if I do it this way. Womp. All those logs, yes. Can we move them? No. Can we not move them? There we go. For some reason it didn't go through. Alright, let's go and grab the last couple, and then we're good. Ah, drat. Wrong side. There we go. And let's get back. Now, there have been a couple, speaking of uh, comments, a lot of people asking about some of the settings. Now, I have shown them already, but I'm more than happy to show them again. Uh, let me just park the swag in there. There we go. And, of course, load up the uh, wood-burning stove. Now, if I put a log in there, understand that's like six planks of wood. It'll burn for a long time. Useful in certain situations, not super useful in others. So, we're more than likely going to just be filling this up with splintered wood. The occasional log or two, maybe. But for the most part, we won't be uh, getting too OTT with it. But uh, let me get uh, a couple of drinks of water. Almost drank from the wrong one. It's going to happen eventually, you know that. Uh, also, I'm going to have to eat some of the meals now. Uh, down line to cook day corn meal, sure. I'm going to have the both of those. I'm going to still need to go through more. Uh, this is not going to do Bruto Salazar's health any good. But on the plus side, we'll have boxes. Boxes make arrows. Um, hickory nuts, sure. Let's go through these. We're at least down to hungry. If we can get a little bit lower, I'd be happy. Um, <laughs> candy cigarettes. Aren't those illegal now? I'm not actually sure, but I'm fairly certain that those those were made illegal. Any any like sweet that that uh, emulates. The act of smoking or promote smoking, I think, was made illegal in the UK. Uh, right. And some potatoes. Like, <laughs> where? How can you? My stomach would pop if I tried to eat this much in one go. But there we are. You are you are super happy, mind you. Enjoyed the deluxe. You still enjoyed the deluxe scrambled eggs this long afterwards? Oh, okay. You, the fairly easy man to please. Is your salad on? Bless him. I drop these off. I don't need my glasses with me anymore. And you know what? I'll drop the alarm clock over there. But uh, there are a couple of settings that I wanted to to cover. Uh, ooh, did I drop my axe as well? Oh, I must have automatically dropped it because I didn't have enough room to carry it. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, but there are a couple of settings that I wanted to, to cover, just because so many people have been asking after them. So I'll show you the the, the sound set that I'm using, uh, along with a couple of other things. But as with every night, let's have a little bit of a read before we sleep. I think that's wise. Modern travel. Let's continue to take our trapping a little bit higher, shall we? There we go. Uh, and you know, lightning, li thunder, lightning, danger. There we are. And now that I am hungry and thirsty, let's go and quickly gobble down some more clean water. And we'll go to sleep hungry. It's fine. We're training you, Puto Salazar. Training you. So, time for a snooze. There we go. Yes, save the game. Ah, glorious. Keeping warm under our nice, nice, wonderful blanket. Uh, warm, comfortable, warm, comfortable. You know, we're, we're kind of rolling around a little bit. Doing the flip with our legs to keep uh, our feet warm. And then feeling, oh, I'm too hot to so stick one leg out. Yeah. Brutus Salazar knows, how, knows how, to, how to sleep well. But with that, let's go ahead and have a look at some of the options that I've got set up. Now, the, one, of the, oops, one of the most uh, common questions that I get asked, what tile set am I using? Chest hole 32. Simple as that, you just come down here and select it from all of them. There's loads of tile sets though, so I strongly recommend you, you check them out and, and uh, actually make sure that you, there's not one that you would prefer. Uh, the next, the sound pack, chest hole CC. Those, those are by far the two most common questions I get asked. The other one, how to zoom in, how to zoom out, I've already answered. Z to zoom in by default, shift Z to zoom out, or you can just cycle all the way around. Uh, f the last one, how do I get the uh, screen over here to switch between this, the narrow version, and this, the wide version? That's backspace, uh, backslash, sorry. Um, so it's really, really super simple. Now, the question on how I've got like the mods, like um, why does my map look different and things like that, that's a little bit more involved and actually requires you to edit text files to change the font that the game is going to try and use for certain things. This, by the way, is the Retro Days ASCII font. I'm a huge fan of the Retro Days um, tile set as well. Honestly, if I weren't trying to make this uh, series a little bit more approachable for people who aren't used to, to Cataclysm, I would be running the Retro Dales tile set. I absolutely adore it. But this is the ASCII version of the tile set. So anything which is part of the normal ASCII, like letters and things like that, don't get touched. But for example, the, uh, the, the, the um, spaces around here and certain special symbols do get changed. So uh, I actually found it quite useful for the map because it retains all the information that I would want on the map. It doesn't have the Dwarf Fortress effect of tile sets where suddenly the, the letter O is now some weird symbol that is usually used for jewels, etc., etc. But that's, uh, that's those simple questions answered. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, survivors.